Welcome to Guitar Hero World Tour on PC Part 2 video. On um, the second video, I'm going to show you how to record addictive drums in the piano roll. Also, using uh, addictive drums built in effects and also exporting the samples from the internal mixer to FL Studio Mixer. So, yeah, we'll start on recording the drums into the piano roll. First off, just make sure the addictive drums is uh, selected. We can hit the record button up here. I'm going to have a countdown. You can also enable a metronome or a wait for input to start playing. I'll just use the countdown. And all you need to do is hit the play button and start drumming. And there's all the MIDI information. So we can go to the piano roll, press play. And it's all there. Same, you can see the velocity information there too. Uh, and yeah, that's the basics of recording to the piano roll. I can get rid of that, I just press Control A and delete it. Now I'm going to show you how to record. Uh, into a song position. So we open up the playlist and let's get rid of that. We're going to record the drum introduction. So I'm going to select two bars. Once again, make sure it's song mode. Hit the record button and then press play. And there's the pattern there, and we just shrink that, get rid of the record function, and we can play the pat pattern back. We want to play this part of the song where we recorded. Ah, uh, so there we go. That's all you need to do. I've there. I recorded them. Uh, before the video just to save on time and uh, yeah that's how you record it into a song position next thing I'll show you a little bit about addictive drums alright so this is the main page the kit uh, you can change the uh, presets you just click here left click and then you can select different presets so like electronic music uh, distortion all the settings have been done for you and yeah, so depending on what music you're after, you can just select whatever preset. And then here's your kit. You can muck around with that. You can select, say, a different kick. You just go up and down. Uh, this is only the full version will have multiple kits. The demo doesn't contain more than one kit. So uh, yeah, if you have the full version, you'll be presented with multiple drum kits which you can muck around on and down here we have the mixer which you can adjust accordingly and then you can adjust say each individual piece of the drum kit so for instance the kick paddle uh, I can adjust the pitch the volume and then the channel insert such as the comp a compressor distortion equalizer saturation and microphone positioning and that goes for most of the other pieces of the drum kit so you can have fun with that and then we have it over in the other side of the mixer the overhead which is the mics that sit above the, the cymbals generally and you can adjust put more effects on that or adjust the sound and then you have the room mics and then we have a bus channel which you can say for instance send the kick the snare the hi-hat to and then add distortion to only those three items. That saves you time rather than adding it distortion to each individual piece of the drum kit. So it's handy. And then you have your master channel, which also has effects. Also, too, you can see there's a send FX insert here. Like most or all the pieces of the drum kit have. So if we go up to effects up here, we can see that there's two reverbs which you can adjust. 
So you can change the kind of reverb accordingly by clicking the selection buttons here, and then you can manually adjust them uh, with your mouse over here, just dragging along, or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse and just muck around with that. Also, we have the beats page where you can, uh, these are pre made loops which you can put in your, your songs. So, say for instance, I couldn't think of a, a drum loop from a song and didn't want to uh, muck around playing my Guitar Hero well to a drum kit, even though I'd find that hard to believe. <laughs> um, I can just uh, select a loop from here. You can even break it down, actually. This is Song 06, Rock, and if you select the arrow, you can actually see a breakdown of the MIDI loops. So you have the bridge, chorus, middle eight, and verse. Say I only wanted to bridge my song, I can click and hold and then drag it into my Addictive Drums channel. And then you can just select OK and that will import it into your uh, sequencer. And then just uh, right click and you can send it to the piano roll. And that's not what you want. <laughs> we'll just minimize that. We'll drag it into the piano roll. Okay, there you go. All the MIDI information has appeared. So you can adjust that too. Cancel out parts or whatever you want to do. And then you can preview the songs in uh, the Addictive Drums player. And you can even synchronize it to your host. So if I play up here, It'll play along with your song, so it's handy. Now, exporting uh, the internal mixer channels to FL Studio Mixer. All you need to do is select the arrow up here. Uh, I've already enabled it. Enable multiple outputs. Make sure that's selected. And then down here, there's these arrows. All you need to do is highlight the channels you want outputted. And then the channel settings, to get to the channel settings you can just select the addictive drums channel and then EFX, that's what the channel, the mixer channel that you want sent, want to send addictive drums to I've got mine set to number one so we open up the mixer and then number one, I've re re renamed uh, channel one as addictive drums and, and also the kick, snare and hi-hats and cymbal channels so when I go to play the pattern or the drums, it'll output to each individual channel. Which you can see. So, yeah, so then you can add more effects to the channel. So, like the hi hat, I can put a overdrive in, or I don't know. Oops. Anything you like, really. Anything, even, like if you have your own. Uh, plugins or whatever you have you can muck around with it heaps so yeah have fun with that and that wraps up this video so if you have any problems or need help with something just leave a comment under the video or head over to pctutorialsonline.net forward slash forum and you can post a topic or question in online forums uh, special thanks goes to Magnus who uh, made the PS360 MIDI drummer. It's uh, this is what um, without, I should say without this software it wouldn't be possible to have the Guitar Hero World Tour drum kit on PC. So special thanks to him, and I hope to see uh, the Wii uh, Wii drum kit support later on, and hopefully Rock Band 2 drum kit support too. So. We'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the forum.